guys. Do you have a watch? Do you? Shoot the gun. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that you got everybody coming with you. Yeah, well. Good. good. I hope yeah. so. I hope you'd be in the front row this time. Right. Who else are you bringing with you? How many girls? About five or six. <laughs> and where they're rated from one to ten? Huh? What are they rated? One to ten? One to ten. Ten. <laughs> so you, That's cool. You got it? Just in time. Just relax, buddy. It's okay. going to be in a couple of weeks. Okay. All right? Okay, all right. Okay. Just keep yourself cool, dude. Okay.
Gary, Gary, everyone's looking for you. The contest is starting. Let's go. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> And now, our final two contestants! And introducing our senior official, Gary! And now, contestant number one! And now, contestant number two! You didn't say action. Bang! Gary, don't say bang. Uh, and then let's do it again. Wait till I say go. Okay. We're still okay. going? <laughs> action. Boom! <laughs> don't say anything. Let's try it again. You say action? You'll you know, stay out there tapping on the show to see when they come through. You right. just got to put some pre roll. <laughs> Sound wide, Gary! Same line, Gary. Look over here. Look, look towards Ike. Look at me. Start it up. Look at the guys back there and say. Gary, turn around. Turn Gary, around. Look, look, look back here and say it. You, you ugly. Gary. You ugly. You spit back. Gary. Well, at least they didn't say shoot. Or shoot. next shot. Josh. And Josh. <laughs> hey, hey Gary, I, we're off on him. Hey, you let me fucking movie! Okay. <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. I just couldn't resist. Okay, it's rolling. Of course, you know, that's the great thing about edits and extras. You know, we got all this this stuff that they're rolling right there. You know, you're sitting oh, yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, we're going to say right now. Right now. Yeah, so. <laughs> Ready? One, two, action. Sound? Action! One of our actresses from Gary the Movie, we're talking to Sunshine. Tell us a little about some of the funny things you got to do with Gary. Um, in the movie theater, Gary said that I need bigger boobs, and I told him that he needs a bigger dick. And I don't agree with that. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, Gary kept burping in my face, and he was coughing in my face, and he hit everybody. 
starting to hit everybody. <laughs> Did he hit on you? <laughs> no. Well, then you're a little bit lucky in that regard because he hits on everybody, you know. But the biggest thing right now is you got to do a great water scene there with, with Gary and buckets of water on you and all sorts of craziness. Let's talk a little bit about that. Nice and warm, wasn't it? Yeah. It was fun. And you got to meet up with some great people as well. You got to yeah, work the on the hot set. Girl. She was. She was. But then you're not a bad slouch yourself, so don't worry about that. You know. So what sort of future have you got now that you've gotten to do this movie? What are you looking forward to now? Um, well, I don't know. Just working with um, that girl again. It's fun. And of course with Gary as well. I'm sure you'd like to have another shot with Gary. You know, He tried to hit on you, tried to hit you a couple other things. I'm sure you'd like to get a rematch with him. Yeah. I'll beat his ass. <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to that. I have a feeling that you might just take him out once and for all. <laughs> Possibly? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's a sunshine from Gary the Movie. From Gary the Movie, we're talking to Angie right now. Let's talk about this movie. You were involved in three big scenes. Let's talk about them. That's correct. I was in the uh, cave uh, room scene where I was giving birth to Gary, um, where I was screaming at the top of my lungs. You know, I never gave birth before. Have you gave birth before? Not likely, and I'm not about ready to start, thank you. But obviously, it was, it was an experience, and then what else did you get to do? I was uh, also sitting for the uh, Western Room scene. So um, did you win any, any hands of poker, though? Uh, I wasn't that lucky this time. Next time around. And what else did you get to do? I was also uh, in the theater scene where I was uh, leading Gary out because the concert was starting. And I got him to follow me all right. <laughs> Seems to be a common thread with him. He likes to follow a lot of the beautiful ladies around. Of course, you know, yourself filling in quite well in that department. Thank you. So now, what sort of future do you hold now after doing this Gary the Movie? What are you looking forward to now? Um, gaining more experience in the acting field, also possibly in production field. I actually graduated from Mount Hood Community College with a television production degree. Uh, Associate of Applied Science. I've done uh, newsroom, you know, experience. I've done script writing. I've done editing. I've done audio. I've done lighting. Pretty much everything. So basically, you just need to own your own production company now. That is correct. And hopefully, we'll be seeing more of Angie in future Gary the Movies. From Gary the Movie, we're talking about Dirty Harry. Let's talk a little bit about Gary the Movie. Gary the Movie is fabulous. So now, what did you get to do in Gary the Movie? My head was featured in one shot, the back of it. Looks good, looks yeah. good, yes. Do you, get a, do you get a crisp shot of that, or what? I'm hoping so. Oh, you're hoping so. Well, hopefully, uh, you know, you have other future. Now, we got to talk a little bit about some of the past history, though, because you've actually known Gary for quite a while. Yeah, I've worked with Gary on several projects. And you're, you're not embarrassed to admit that? Oh, no. Just checking, just checking. Let's talk a little bit about some of the projects you have done with him. One of those that I'm working on right now is called Harry and Gary's Retarded Adventure. That's almost scary, but let's talk a little bit about, uh, about what one. you got to do in this in this particular oh, it movie. Oh, it was great. I got to ride in a limousine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You didn't play with any of the buttons and controls, did you? Actually, I pushed one of the buttons. And that's the reason why it stopped working. Okay, so now the question is this, though. Now, you've gotten to do this this particular movie. Were there any surprises you found in the movie that you did that you didn't think were going to happen or did happen? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, um, I sweated profusely in my costume. I was actually Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th in the limousine scene. That was uh, incredible. So there's quite a dry cleaning bill for that. Yes, huh? the air AC was not up to par in the limo. Hmm. Or maybe your deodorant wasn't working. I'm not sure which. You know, just talk a little bit about it there. Okay. Well, moving right along, let's talk a little bit about the future, though. You're talking about uh, the Harry and Gary retarded adventure. That sounds kind of unique. Yeah. Is it something that uh, we're doing for this production company as well? No. Okay. Well, that's always good. <laughs> you just never know. Of course, we're talking with Dirty Harry, and outside this, he's also a musician mastermind at the music and much much more and hopefully you'll be seeing more of him in gary the movies oh doa pro wrestling need we say more we'll mention that too you get to <laughs> wrestle with him don't you yeah he's beaten you on every occasion no he only took me down once and that was the last time it was only one match he got beaten we're talking with dirty harry from gary the movie there he is look at him back there he loves you yeah Mad Dog Jack here from Gary the Movie. What an incredible experience this was. Yeah, it was. Let's talk a little bit about it. 
Um, well, working with Gary is is really fun because you never know which side of Gary's going to come out. He's got a good side and he's got a bad side. Believe me, I found out the bad side. More often than the good side? No. Okay. Well, let's talk about the good side then because obviously, you know, there was a lot of interesting things you got to do. Let's talk about some of the scenes you were involved in. Uh, well, I was involved in the Western scene. Obviously. Yeah. Can tell. yeah. Um, unfortunately, my, uh, Gary's draw was quicker than mine, so, but in order to f find out how that went, I guess you'll have to buy the DVD. Absolutely. Now, obviously, other things you got involved in as well, besides the Western scene, right? Uh, yeah. Um, I took part in the uh, theater scene. I was resurrected as an alien. That was a very hot experience. I, yeah, I've seen I've seen some of those outfits. So yeah, some of them were pretty uh, pretty intense there. And of course, with the temperatures being the way they are during the uh, during the filming, obviously helped out a great deal. Oh yeah, lost a little bit of weight, did you? Yeah, my head is a little smaller, but yeah. <laughs> and obviously, now that you've completed this movie, were there any little surprises that you learned from doing this movie? Um, yeah, not too many. I mean, you know, the the people that you know stepped up, helped out, you know, uh, everybody did their parts really well. Even Gary? Yeah. In, in some shots, you know, it took him a couple <laughs> times, but, you know, with the right coaching, you know, he was able to pick it up and lay it down. So now, obviously, now that we've laid down this movie here, what's uh, holding the future for you? Um, well, hopefully if I get resurrected again, hopefully I'll be something that doesn't get, get shot in the end. <laughs> And with that, I guess it's the end. It's Mad Dog Jack representing Gary the Movie. From Gary the Movie, it is Josh. One name, one talent. Obviously, let's talk a little bit about some of the fun things you got to do in this one. I heard that you got to even play a woman. I did. I had to play Corella. I had to put a wig on. And with this? Yeah, Just ask. it's perfect. And it was so was a, the wig, apparently. Yeah, it, it, I had a fun experience with being a girl, I guess. Got to see your feminine side, did you? Yeah, nice. very much. And then there were a couple other big roles that you got to play in this movie as well. Caveman. Works um, well, I can tell, with the hair, again. Yes, you know. yes. They, they know how to, how to pick them right for you, don't they? Yeah, and how to give, how to give a baby, have a baby, or, yeah. Give a baby, have a baby, yeah, whichever you like, so, so you sold it, or what? Oh, no. You have to find out about the movie, I'm sure. Something. Yeah, you have to find out. So now, were there some surprises that you got to learn while doing this particular movie? Some behind the scenes stuff that, that people may not get to know? No. Not, I, no. We know he's lying. There's a lot of truth to it. Let's talk a little bit about this 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 lying you've got here, because your nose is growing Pinocchio. Let's talk a little bit about some of these things here. Obviously, you know, um, I heard offset that you really got to enjoy wearing that, that uh, woman's outfit. Yeah. Off camera. Yeah, it was, I, the best part I liked about it was the bra, the push-up the push bra. Yes, I can, I can tell, yeah. you know, where everybody else seems to be talking about small breasts and, and uh, well, push-up bra might help you in that regard. I just, just mentioning it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Just just checking. I mean, you know, just uh, you know, we we've heard a lot of things. <laughs> Apparently, you wanted to take the costume home. Now, now they did have to stop you at the gates there because, you know, they they do need it for other events. So, you know, just uh, making sure that you aren't uh, using it again, right? Oh, I I ain't using it, trust me. Don't worry. He'll be in another movie wearing it as well. Let's talk about some of the other things that you got to do in this movie, though. You got to have some fun with Gary, and obviously you got to have some fun with some uh, great cast of characters and some great people. So let's talk a little bit about some of the people you got to work with. Gary, well, as Jason, mm -hmm. well, and Cleopatra, and my wife, Cavewoman. She was very sexy. And some, some Joker looking character as well. Yeah, Joker. He was cra He's a crazy person. He obviously uh, liked working with you, and, and you obviously liked working with him. I heard that you had a good relationship working together. Yeah, we're like BFFs. Nice, so you'll be able to check that on Facebook pretty soon too. So let's talk about your future endeavors now that you've done this movie, and obviously, is this your first, first feature film that you've done? Yes. So now that you've done that, what sort of uh, things can we expect out of you for that? Um... It's a surprise. Always a surprise. 
Just wait, he'll be wearing that outfit again real soon at a costume party near you. Of course, we're talking with Josh from Gary the Movie. Gary the Movie, we're talking with Kid Crazy right now. Kid Crazy, obviously a lot of cast of characters you got to play in this movie. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, let's talk about that one first, obviously. That was one of your favorites. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I love the movie, uh, kind of playing the Joker character, kind of getting into it. You have a lot of fun, laugh a lot. Really and good then, time. And what else did you get to do? Uh, during the uh, Western scene, I also played the dealer. So you were the one that was hiding the aces, huh? I, they said I had too many cards. I, I don't know. I, I was playing a fair game. No yeah, one's cheating at my table. Five card hand, and you're playing with eight cards. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can watch the videotape. We will. We will. Now, you got a chance to also work and interact with some, some new faces that are new to the scene and new to acting and that sort of thing. What sort of things did you bring to the table, and what sort of things did they ask from you? Oh, it's definitely, uh, I had fun doing this. Uh, definitely a lot of different talent. You had people that have done done things before, some that haven't. Uh, always great seeing the young, the eagerness of people who haven't really done a lot that are ready just to jump in, do do whatever is called for. Uh, great seeing that. I've done a couple things, not really too much as far like as this goes. So it's great to have those veterans kind of pick up off of, learn from. And obviously Gary, now we gotta talk about him too, <laughs> because obviously it's Gary the movie, so we gotta talk a little bit about Gary. Yeah, he What's was in this movie too. Yeah, he was, actually. It was called Gary the Movie, not joking the movie. But but let's talk about <laughs> Gary, though. I mean, obviously, you know, he's a, he's a well-known star. What sort of things did you get to learn from him? What sort of things did you teach him? Oh, I'm, I'm sure, you know, we were back behind the scenes a lot. He was asking me for coaching. I was I was really trying to bring him up and show, show him how to be the star of this movie. And then what was he teaching you? I didn't really learn too much from him. <laughs> no, we had fun. It was great, great, uh, great working with him. Uh, Definitely got to learn the different sides of him. Uh, just like the Joker, you know, many different sides of Gary. Now that you've done this movie, what are you looking forward to for the future? Uh, sequel, Gary 2, you know, hey, I come, I come back for that. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, kind of doing more work in the paranormal field. I do that on the side, so definitely excited to get back in there. Doing a couple TV shows, uh, local access and stuff. Of course, we're talking with Kid Crazy from Gary the Movie. From Gary the Movie, we're talking with Michelle. Let's talk a little bit about some of the fun things you got to do on the set. All the fun things. I helped uh, co-produce and uh, helped with the script and the wardrobe. Um, I can't even think right now. Well, let's talk a little bit about the script, though. Obviously, you know, that's it's a very unique thing to do Gary the Movie. So let's talk a little bit about some of the things you had in the way of challenges for the script. Chal oh, yes, challenges. That's a good way to put it. Um, because it is Gary, I thought we would do a lot of fun stuff like the wet t-shirt contest and the club scene and... What t-shirt contest? Gary wanted to do more than once, didn't he? Yes, he did. Yes, he wanted to do that a couple times. You know. Only a couple? Oh, I, I heard they had to retake <laughs> that about 15 or 20 times there. Oh, yeah, that, that was absolute fun. <laughs> and, of course, you know, it's nice, nice warm water, too, isn't it? Yes, it was just mm, like dipping yourself in the water in the stream. So let's talk about some of the other things you got to do. Obviously, you know, being both in front of the camera and behind the camera, getting to write it as well as produce and, and then acting in it as well. Let's talk about some of that as well, some of the challenges you had to do to not be the focus of the movie, but at the same time, you know, have your roles and be able to get Gary across as well. Um, the challenges with that is wondering if the shots, you know, taking and if I look decent on the screen. <laughs> well, you look fine to oh, me. Thank so, you. Yeah. Um, yeah, and, and also Gary to focus, mm -hmm. and especially in the theater when she came in with no top on. <laughs> Well, any any female. It doesn't seem to matter what female it is. He he seems to want to chase after. So that you know, is true. You know, did you, you were able to escape fortune to come over and do this interview? So that's a that's a plus in itself. Yes, it is. I'm not sure what you used to to pry yourself away from his <laughs> grasp, but obviously you did something right. You know. Just so this is your first opportunity though doing doing this this particular script writing and that sort of thing. So let's talk a little bit about what what uh, sort of things you're looking forward to now that you've had this one in the bag and had a chance to work with this. Um, maybe possibly doing a sequel to this one if it comes up and maybe more along the lines of script writing because it was a lot of fun coming up with ideas and seeing them come through and on camera and, you know, just having fun with the cast and crew, so. 
and obviously, you know, you obviously had a little bit of a hand in, in organizing some of the cast members that were involved in this. So, what sort of things do you look for when you work with cast members to try and, and fit this kind of movie? Because it's a different style of movie than, than most others that we've seen. You know, it really is. And it's just uh, finding people that are willing to open themselves up and be exposed and just willing to come, let loose and not be stiff. Mm -hmm. You know, and just be like, you know what? Let's just have fun. You know, let's just laugh and. <laughs> now, did you use a lot of improv? Because I know everybody has a script and that sort of thing. But obviously, you know, with Gary, you know, being being different and and the whole style of the movie being different. Obviously, there's challenges in that. So maybe a little improv, maybe in this, or or did you stick straight to the script? You know, there was a lot of improv, a lot, because we didn't have write a lot of stuff down words wise. Because we figured there would be a lot of improv, and we really didn't know what Gary was going to say. So we were just mainly feeding off of him. Mm -hmm. And so now that you've had that chance, what sort of things do you look forward to in a future sequel? Obviously a lot more improv, maybe a little more structure. What, what do you see? I see a lot more structure along the lines of getting more communication along the lines and just, you know, working with Gary to remember his lines and having everyone come together. But it seems though that everybody seemed to work well together. I mean, it was a, a great cast, a great crew, great film you know, crew and that sort of thing that, that made this all possible. So obviously that's a that's a big thing that you don't get uh, too often, you know, having that kind of camaraderie amongst everybody. Yes, there was. Um, we actually got the idea to bring a lot of people together that didn't know each other, and so not a lot of lines were crossed, and we just brought people along that we figured would get along with everyone, so we would, didn't have a lot of drama and all the other stuff. And you'll be doing that, I'm sure, for the futures, you know, that you've been able to obviously get that idea so everything's worked out quite well. What did you think of some of the different sites that you got to do? I mean, you got to do a bunch of different things, the Western Room, Caveman, uh, you know, a lot of other 70s. I mean, it was all sorts of variety. Oh, yeah. Was that was that something that went through your head when you first originally thought of this idea of, of the, the script, or was it something that just sort of say, hey, you know, this this worked out well, or, or let's try this, or, or what? What's, talk um, a little bit about it. Because of the different locations, you know, we were able to be like, hey, the theater, well, we can have a different characters and villains and stuff like that. And we just basically went off the rim. So in the Western, we figured, hey, let's have, you know, a card game like they did back when and go along with the costumes and, you know, so. So you had some fun with it, obviously. A lot of fun. And that's that's the big thing. A lot, of, a lot of films these days are a lot of fun, a lot of great people, a lot of great talents. And now that you've learned from that, obviously, you know, you're, you're moving forward. You know, are you going to look at a longer feature next time around? Or do you like this style of, of, of this kind of this kind of length for a film? I'm thinking if we could possibly do a little bit longer to get, you know, more uh, shots in and more locations and, you know, more clothes. Because I had a lot of fun trying on the costumes and making sure it, it would work for it. Because I did go through a lot of wardrobe. Mm hmm well, and that's the great thing about wardrobe is that is that there's so many different challenges and ideas that you can find that something works one time doesn't work another but but it all just seemed to flow really well together yeah um yeah that's just true we i mean we did buy a lot of um wardrobe extra because we didn't know how many people were going to be here and everything like that so yeah we had a range of costumes and now you hopefully we'll, we'll see more of your features obviously the great the great thing with the script the great thing with all the production work congratulations great job Thank you. Of course, we're talking with Michelle, who's with Gary the Movie. Gary the Movie wouldn't be possible without this man right here, Don. Let's talk a little bit about this house. I mean, the, the house itself was involved in pretty much every single scene that yeah. happened in this movie. You've got every facet from a Western room to a 70s room to a theater. I mean, my goodness, your own theater in your own house. Let's yes. talk a little bit about some of the ideas that you had to get this house together. Okay, well... Um Originally, I thought they were only going to see, uh, shoot one scene in the house, and now you know the whole thing happened, which was really surprising to me. Which I'm glad it did, though. But um, what I did was just um, I basically had an empty house when I got divorced. My wife took everything out of the house; she wanted everything, so she took everything, and I sat there with an empty house, and I let her decorate everything before. So I was just sitting there thinking. What am I going to do? What do I like? Because I never did, you know, remodeling or anything. So I basically just uh, started studying uh, designing designers and things like that. So I said, you know, what, what goes up in value instead of down in value? Designers. So I studied their architect and how they did and what they uh, made, chairs, things like that. And I went to um, state sales, garage sales, and I virtually just picked out the ones that I saw that were worth something. And I decorated my house with it. 
Let's talk about the theater room first of all. That theater room is just fabulous. I mean, it, it looks like a, an actual theater, yeah. complete with theater seats, a yep. big projection screen, everything. Let's talk a little bit about all some right, of the well, mindset well, of that. All right, the, that was the first room that I did was the theater room. And uh, basically that was just a room that I wanted uh, my kids to enjoy movies and, and me too, mm -hmm. you know, so we could just sit there and relax. And, and, and uh, a lot of the movies that came out that we missed, we could see on a big screen, you know, so that was my idea. And we just uh, put together, that room was only three feet high at one time. Wow. And we dug it down to, um, to about seven feet. And by the time we poured, it was about six, five, I think in there right now. Wow. And then I just um, went from there and just started uh, collecting things at estate sales, garage sales, um, went to a Camus uh, Theater and got some of the seats, you know, that they had left over and, and, and put those in there. And a friend of mine uh, and I b both did the whole movie room together and, and um, it, was a, it was a pretty big project. Yeah. Another big project. I mean, the Western Room, absolutely fantastic. Looks like an old, an old Western, you know, mm. site there with the tables, the gambling room. I mean, all you need is the Can Can Girls, and you've basically yeah. got it made right there. Yeah, that's the last room that I did. Well, um, that room there was just inspired by a lot of my friends that we play uh, hold'em cards and things like that. So we. Um, we uh, decided to build something that that we can just feel like we're you know you know in Western theme and and it started to got I got to where I did an Indian side and a, and a cowboy side on one, on either side and started collecting things from different places and and got that room finished too. Absolutely fabulous. Yeah. And then of course you know the view back here is just wonderful. You know got the river right yeah. behind us where we had yeah, some of the shots as well. Just a beautiful area and you know nice wide open and just absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I gotta talk to you about this band room though. That that is perhaps okay. the most incredible <laughs> that I've ever seen. Sound stage and everything. I mean all, yeah. all you need basically is 150 people basically and you've got yourself a nightclub. Yep yep that's pretty much what I had in mind too. That used to be a workout room at one time. My workout room. And I wasn't working out as much and just kind of just trying to stay in shape, you know, little stuff. So I didn't need such a big workout room. So um, my son influenced me on that because he started uh, learning how to, um, he wanted me to teach him how to play guitar. So I taught him a little bit how to play guitar and he got so good so fast. And he, he went in the piano and he started playing everything, bass, everything you could think of. So um, he inspired me of doing a band room for up and coming bands to give them a chance to, um, you know, to bring people in. And that's pretty much what I have made that for. We've had, I think, three or four bands here so far, really good turnout and uh, had a cover charge and everything else. And it, it worked out really good. Um, we haven't pursued it as much as I would like yet because I had that fire happen, but it's, it's gonna, it's gonna uh, be pursued as a venue. Uh, there's gonna be comedy night here. There's gonna be, uh, um, just all kinds of things, um, you know, um, poetry, whatever people want to do if they want to rent, you know, have it out and then have people come out and to, to watch them or whatever. And that's pretty much maybe we'll advertise, you know, that's kind of what my vision was for that room there. Get bands a chance, people a chance to express themselves and, and maybe, uh, you know, and get uh, and get known out there. And you got the tiki room as well. That's a, yeah, that's a fabulous that, looking little room there, too. Yeah, that room, uh, you know, is up and coming but because. Uh, I don't know if people seen the pictures before like it was. It was a full Hawaiian room with sand on the floor, flowers oh, wow. on the ceiling and everything else. It was it was a, a really cool room. A lot of people like that. And um, basically, I like that room because um, i never been to Hawaii, and I eventually want to go. But I think I bring Hawaii in the, you know, in the house so I can get a little you know, feel of it. So I built that room, too. And, uh, and that, that's what the fire happened there. So I'm... I'm gonna rebuild it again, but I, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing. But it'll it'll come to me. And uh, one one last thing I gotta talk about is this is this incredible slide that you have in there. Oh I don't yeah. know if anybody who's, who's been able to see this one here, but it's, it goes from one floor to another yeah. and in a big ball pit. I mean, I mean, you just couldn't ask for anything more. I mean, yeah, it's gotta bring the inner child into you. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I have a lot of inner child in me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's always a good thing. I, I think everybody enjoys yeah, that yeah, though. Never, never, never get old. But um. What I did, that room was a, um, I always liked caves. I liked to go in caves when I was a kid. That's a, and I forgot to mention yeah, the, cave the cave room. room. That's, that's unbelievable <laughs> yeah. as well. Talk a little bit about the cave room because that, that one is where Gary's born. So we need to talk right, about, right. about prehistoric stuff here. That room was the hardest room that I did. A friend of mine did that with me and we had all our tools, everything was just full of concrete. And we, uh, 
you know, basically just stuff walls with uh, with papers. In fact, all my taxes are behind those walls right there. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> IRS, don't be calling. Yeah, them. don't okay. be calling. Yeah, but um, yeah, they're all behind there. And then we stuffed it with uh, uh, made the shapes with paper bags and stuff. And then we we put uh, chicken wire on it, and then we soaked burlap in concrete and just put it over there, shaped it with with trowels and. And that was, a, it was a, it took at least uh, almost a month to do, and it was very, you know, grueling, you know. And originally I wanted to put stalactites up above too, but we tried to put a couple up and they fell down too easy, so we decided to, to bag that idea. And then uh, um, the, the slide area was just kind of like a, you know, because there's a lot of times, I, I grew up in Chicago and I found a cave one time before that had an area where I could actually slide down into an area, so that gave me the idea for that slide. So I, it slid into another room, and that's <laughs> that's basically this this room here was made. We were debating what to do, you know, and I said, let's just let's just build, you know, let's just put a tube slide in there. And he goes, no, we can't do that. Sure, we can. We go right through the wall, you know. And so a friend of mine said, are you sure you want to do that? And I go, yeah. And he said, took a hammer and he pulled a hole in the wall. He goes, all right, now we got to do it, you know. <laughs> so we ended up took on that project, and then the uh, where the slide slides into is the uh, um, part of the Caribbean room. So. Mm -hmm. That pretty much inspired me by the movie because mm -hmm. I enjoyed that movie tremendously, and um, so I built a room kind of to uh, for that reason. So now all to, of these rooms, which is your favorite? Which is my favorite room? Um, or is oh, yeah, there then, one that's still coming that, that we no, don't no, know no, about? Well, yet. I have my Asian room upstairs. And there you go. Yeah, yeah, and that too. That's my bedroom. Would turn you know that's for the little Asian that I like, and there's um, uh, I basically I use I like every room. I use every room for in my whole because house. All, people because say, all different purposes. Yeah, yeah, different purposes. Yeah, people say, you know, oh, how do you this big of a house? You know, uh, do you do you use every room? I go, yeah, I do. I use every room in this whole house just all the time. So um, whether it's people coming over or, or you know friends or just myself or whatever, I mean, I, I'll I'll sit there and I'll go write songs. You know, in the band room. You know, sometimes when I feel like it. So every room I use. So everyone is inspired by just out of my head so and I enjoy all of them well on behalf of Gary we'd like to thank you for the opportunity to use this house there it's absolutely wonderful and you know you'll see the uh, the movie you'll obviously get to see all these various rooms hopefully we'll be ha having a chance to come back and do this again because this was absolutely phenomenal all and right. thank you for opening up your house to us because you know it's so tough to find sites and to do particular sure. scenes at but you can that. do it all in one place <laughs> I yep. mean that's just impossible let's yeah. give it up for Don here who gave up his house and uh, for Gary you know did uh, did Gary at least uh, leave it uh, clean? oh yes very good yeah. okay well, well then everybody then, was just perfect in the whole thing perfect <laughs> all right we're talking to Don from Gary the movie all right see ya Gary the movie wouldn't be possible without this man Bob here because Bob I tell you you know you've you've managed Gary for quite a long time now and you actually were the person who got involved in the site locations for here. I mean, let's talk a little bit about how you found the site for this particular movie. Well, the site I was in, uh, invited up here to with some friends to hang out with Don at this place. And Don and I have known each other. We didn't re realize we were in the music business together. And uh, so we just started talking, became good friends. And then we decided to shoot one set here and we looked at it over and it covered every venue. We could shoot the whole movie in one place. And you were originally looking at just one room, and then, then obviously, you know, script, you know, yeah. hey, you know, you have opportunities of flexibility there yeah. and improv, which obviously this movie has a lot of improv <laughs> in here. So you had an opportunity then to sample some of these different rooms here, just a variety of, of different opportunities for you. True, we did. Uh, and the greatest part about it was the crew we got to work with. Uh, mm -hmm. They they were unbelievable. The camera crew, the sound guys, Luke, the director, and it was just, it was just unbelievable. The, the characters in the show, we had like Freddy, uh, Jason, the, the clown, and of course Gary. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just the point is. Does he play all three? Yeah, just ask. Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 pretty much he's one of all three, you know. Mm -hmm. But the deal with Gary was when he was working for this other production, this other company, he, everything he did was, was owned by the company. This is his. Mm -hmm. This is his. I don't care about anything about it, just that he had something when he goes out now, he can say, this, I made this myself. And so this obviously, you know, was a great opportunity for him and a great opportunity basically to expose some, some talent that may not have otherwise been able to be seen, you True. know, before. Yeah. And that was something that you had an involvement in, in, mm -hmm. in finding some of the people to be involved in some of the characters and so on. I mean, I enjoyed the opportunity of introducing some of these beautiful ladies, of course. But, you know, most importantly, though, I mean, you got an opportunity to, to work with some of these people up close and personal and get, get some things that, that most people can't really get out of a movie, and that's natural. Right, right. It's it, it just... 
it's hard to get it not with Gary everything's got to go fluid you know and it you got to be patient like in the, we did we did the uh, studio in the theater where all the aliens and stuff were down there and it would basically freeze and everybody would freeze and Gary would move and everybody was about to kill him <laughs> halfway through the whole set because he couldn't hear it because he forgot his hearing aid mm -hmm. it was broken so we finally got him to sit still and then we got the scene but it was a lot of but the, the people we worked with were great you know we brought you in because you're, you're one of the best i appreciate and that and uh, i've enjoyed working with you for many years <laughs> that, it's, it, it's, 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 it's been quite a while that we've we don't talk about how many years we've worked on yes, each other true. but we worked quite a few years with some friends of ours and uh, a lot of our friends are both here that couldn't make it due to other obligations yeah but but we had some great people that filled in oh, in a yeah. variety of different roles and and you had a, a great person who, who uh, volunteered a limousine company and you yes. had this wonderful house that you got to do some of these yeah. sight lines in and of course the production company and we can't yeah. forget about can't them because they did a, a great job and Gary now you've traveled with Gary all over the world you I've know known, I mean he's known Gary for 35 years and, and, uh, and you've taken him pretty much everywhere and anywhere so I mean oh, obviously United States. now this being the first feature film that he's done with with you mm -hmm. obviously this is kind of a unique experience to to try this out you know, script basically, a lot of improv, a lot of right. stuff that, that isn't structured and that sort of thing. Did you find any surprises along the way? Well, the deal with Gary was when we did we did st structure with the other companies that we did before. Uh, if he did, Gary didn't like it, the word no came out. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Well, I told Gary, it says, we're gonna go make a movie, Gary. Just you and me and a bunch of our friends and stuff, we're gonna make a movie. But the word no is not allowed, mm -hmm. or I'll strike the movie. He said it maybe twice since he's been here. Mm -hmm. I noticed that he really enjoyed working with a lot of the different uh, people, a lot of different yeah. uh, actors and actresses. I mean, they did a, a phenomenal job. And, of course, you like chasing the women around here a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no girl safe. You know that. You've seen him around. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm more than aware. I'm, I'm just surprised, though, that we've seen him. <laughs> I'm just surprised, though, that, that, uh, that some of them didn't allow him to catch him. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and some of them little... Not too bright either. <laughs> well, there you go. But but obviously now now that you've got this one yeah. in the bag here, this is a this is a great great start. Obviously, yeah. um, you know we'd like to do more. What sort of well, what sort of things can we expect out of this? Well, I've done I've done these before, but it, with music videos as compared to this, yeah. this is totally different when you're working with someone that's disabled like Gary mm -hmm. is. But the point is that this is more of a challenge because we have the the people that came on board to help us out like. My co-producer and the, and the, cl the clown and all the rest of they knew Gary. Mm -hmm. They knew how to work with him and, and understand him why he was the way he is. And it came together really good. I felt sorry for Luke, but that's <laughs> and the crew. Yeah, the there's crew. a lot of retakes, weren't there? Yeah, you know? we can't get Luke in this chair, which I wish we could, because he was really uh, the man that kept it going. And even though he was, him and the crew were in the stitches half the time. Yeah, and that's and that's a great. That obviously shows just how natural this yep. this this film was. It was very natural in that the people got to be themselves. Gary got to be himself, and everybody seemed to have a great time with it. Well, yeah. See, Gary. Also, we'd met you at different locations with Luke and the crew before. Well, mm -hmm. Luke mainly, and a couple of the other guys, and they were, they they already knew what to get up against. But this was a whole different thing when you cornered him, and now all of a sudden you have to do this. And you had a very short time frame to actually get this yes, this window of opportunity very done. Short. So, are you are you satisfied with the length of time that it, that it took? I'd like to made it about another half hour longer, but you know we we need more script, more time, you know, mm -hmm. and more people, more bodies to do it. Mm -hmm. So, that's about it. I, I'm hoping we get a chance to maybe do a sequel somewhere else or somewhere in the area with probably the same guy. These guys were pretty good guys to work with. And I don't know if you can use Camera the same house. I just tell you, this yeah. house was phenomenal. Though. There's a lot of fun to do in yeah. here. You know, a lot of different rooms, a lot of opportunities. You know, maybe there's some them, some things you can expand upon here for futures. That's it. That's what we want to do. Well, that's it. So, I mean, I think I think the biggest thing right now is is checking out uh, Gary the movie, and of course thanking Bob and his great staff and the great people that put together this movie for you at home to watch. So, you know, hopefully we'll see some more great things from you. Thank you very much for joining us, Bob. Thank you, Bob. And of course, you're watching Good name. Gary the movie. Yeah, Good name. It's kind of a funny thing, Bob and Bob. We're talking with the star of Gary the movie. It's it's Gary from the movie. How you Mike, doing? How you doing? I'm doing great. Now you had a lot of fun with this movie. You got to work with some yep. some great young ladies. Right. You're not gonna chase them again, are you? No. They're gonna chase you. They're gonna chase me. I'm gonna chase them. If I have to go grab them. <laughs> and, and, and grab them, you will. Now let's talk about some of the. You had an opportunity to work in the cave. You got to be born in the cave. Yep. What do you think about that? No. <laughs> Never again. Never, Never again. Never again. So what did you think of working with, with Bob and other the great crew that you got oh, to work with? Oh, I like Bob, you know, he's, he could be okay. <laughs> he could be okay. What about the cast and crew? You got to work with some great yeah, cast members? Yeah, I got to members? work with the cast and crew. You like them? Yep, I like them. 
and now you're you've been on tour, you've been all over the world, right. and now you're coming back here to do a movie. It's Gary the movie. It's your movie. <laughs> yep. It's all about you. It's all about me. So not what do you him. think? Did you like it? Not him. Not him. No. Nope, oh, what about him. him? How about him? Nope, him? Not no. him. Not him either. That's nah, all good though. But you know what? You had a lot of fun though, right? right? You got to work with some great cast, right. some great crew. You got to do this great movie. Right. What do you want to do now? Just try, I don't know, just try to sell the movies and make some money off of it. Make some money? Right. You're already rich as it is. No, you don't I'm need more money. Ah, yeah, you've got lots of money. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, though. Everybody out there that's seen Gary knows what you're all about. You had right. a lot of fun. I know I had a lot of fun. See, the rock star is the best. They, yeah, you got to mention Rockstar. got to mention them because they, they helped us out. Right. And you had a great people with the right. cast and crew. Did you ever follow the script? No. No, I didn't think so. I've no. seen a lot of the improv. You you got these guys going right. in stitches, didn't you? Right. Yeah, that was the whole idea. Do you like this house? Yeah, I like this house. <laughs> Which is your favorite room? Uh, uh, the, the, p the poker room? You like the western room the yeah. best? Yeah, the cowboy and Indian. That's right. the way it should be. Oh, you like the hat? You like the hair too? Look at this. He's all, oh, he's, all right. oh, he's got hairstyles. He's, he's just, he's just <laughs> what Gary. What about you? I, that's washing you got great hair. Yeah, thank you. I, I, feel, I feel old. But you know what, Gary? I'm looking forward to seeing you in this, this movie now complete. Right. You're going to get to do more movies in the future, right? right? Excellent. This is Gary from Gary the Movie. Right. It makes sense, doesn't it? Right. Yeah.